Lotus friends, in today's video, I'll show you some amazing traps in the Ponziani opening. Keep watching till the end of the video for full information. So this Ponziani opening starts off with E4, E5, Knight F3 and Knight E6. Then we go on to E3 and this is the official Ponziani opening position. From here on, White's main perspective should be developing his center like this moving his pawns forward and uh, before that we can expect black to play knight to f6 pawn to d5 or bishop to c5 so we'll evaluate them one by one so let's say black moves to f6 which is knight then what do we do is we will move forward with d4 he captures our pawn on e he could have also gone for the capture on d4 or could have defended it like this but he goes aggressive so from here on we'll accelerate with our pawn moving into d5 and now black cannot move his knight to a5 as then b4 just traps the knight so so therefore the black player moves his knight back to a e7 and we capture the pawn on e5 and regain our points so from here on many black players will be concerned about this knight in the center and they will want to remove it by moving their pawn to d6 which also opens up this diagonal for the bishop so from here on if black plays this then he is completely gone and you can win this match anyway so what we do is uh, we play bishop to b5 check now anyway he blocks, we are just going to take his bishop here and then he captures with his queen, we take with our knight and the queen is gone and after king takes, the king is exposed, the king does not have the right to castle and from here on, the position is clearly in hands of white to win this one. Getting back to this position, a logical move for black would be c6 but then we will capture on c6 and as soon as black takes our knight we have the game in our hands again because then we will take on b7 and from here on there will be a sequence of forced moves which will result in the win of the white player as we can see in this position on the board getting back to this position from here, imagine black does not play d6 and instead he moves knight to g6. What this does is that it opens up this diagonal and it also attacks our knight which is hanging. And from here on, we can act a little smart and set up a good trap here. We go for bishop to d3 and now if he takes our knight then we can just take his knight so it doesn't make any the game any better for black so he acts a little smart and tries to take our pawn on f2 by attacking our queen and rook and forcing our king to move and so which is what black does after that we are not going to care about our queen here the only objective for us to win the match is to set up a little trap here so what we do is that we take his other knight now black is very happy and he takes our queen but if he does this he is gone right here my friends because when we have bishop takes on f7 check king has to move we get our another bishop into the game and another forced move for the king we keep on attacking the king and we do not go for the queen as we have to win the match so what we do here as black is again another forced move and now our knight comes in supporting our another knight from here on there is nothing much the black player can do as there is no way he can avoid uh, losing this match from now on imagining black takes our bishop here then we can completely destroy him by playing b4 which is a checkmate and if he takes our pawn on b2 then we can go for bishop to e3 checkmate and he also cannot play any other move in this position like e5 because if he does then we just take his queen 
and after that this morph will fall as well so a completely winning position for white so imagine in this position of the ponziani black does not take your pawn on e4 okay he does not then from here on imagine he plays d6 so we are going to accelerate our pawn on the d5 once we do it the black knight is in danger so he moves it back to e7 we attack with our bishop to the other knight now black moves it to e4 capturing our pawn and he thinks that he can capture our bishop here and get a materialistic advantage but we are not going to let that happen instead we have a very cunning little idea here what we do is that we take our queen and give a check at b a4 what happens here is that once he blocks we have this knight and get a materialistic advantage for white again in the pawn now from this position imagine black takes your pawn on d4 what you're gonna do is you're gonna move your pawn forward in the e5 what it does is that it threatens the knight and the knight is forced to move once it moves you're going to attack it again with your queen and once it changes its position once again you're going to take the pawn and we can see that black and white are both equal in material right now but uh, i would suggest you all to play this as white because we have these attacking options for uh, white in this position and also we can see that the queen and the uh, both the bishops are well developed whereas uh, black is yet to develop for one of his bishops so this should give you a very uh, good advantage in this game so guys i've told you all the tricks and traps you have for white in this video and uh, in conclusion i'd like to say if black plays any other move like uh, pawn to d5 or bishop to c5 in the initial of the conviani then your main objective as white should always be to develop your queen so that you can attack like this and your also the idea should be to take control on the center always keep your pawns intact and you should also move this pawn forward so that you can develop your bishop here so i'll suggest you all to try out these uh, openings in your uh, chess tournaments and let me know how you like this ponziani one and if you like this video please like subscribe and click that bell icon and click all notifications to never miss a video of this mastermind thank you for watching